One of the secrets to getting more out of a, a trad climbing trip, especially if you're going away on a, a week's trip or for a long weekend and you want to climb on consecutive days, is to switch between different rock angles. Now let's say yesterday you were cranking it out on something steep and your arms are pretty worked. It makes sense to switch emphasis and get on something easier angle today and Slate provides a perfect opportunity to do that. Here we join Charlie Woodburn as he gears up for an attempt at an E5 called Bell Dance. My knee protecting trousers for when I slice myself sliding down the slab. Um, bigs and smalls. Got a couple of each, apart from the really bigs, because the crack doesn't look really big. And I don't want to take loads of weight. Take lots of tiddlers because they ain't heavy. And that's about it. Let's follow his progress. One of the biggest mistakes with slabs is to kid yourself that it isn't tiring to place gear. But your calves will get pumped from standing still for long periods in much the same way as your arms will fatigue on steeper stuff. So on a route like this, which follows a continuous crack line, it's vital to be disciplined and not to lace it with too much gear. So Charlie makes good progress and opts only to place gear from stable or restful positions. He also gives his calves a quick shake from time to time, especially after placing protection. He reaches the point where the route cuts right, places a high runner and then reverses a few moves, a common tactic on routes that involve a scary traverse. A quick stop at the exit point to assess the terrain and now Charlie embarks on the difficult and bold sequence of rockovers that make up the crux of this climb. He moves steadily and methodically. But at this point in the run out, Charlie realises he's slightly off route and that it would be almost impossible to reverse from here. The question now is whether he can correct his mistake by pressing on. And at moments like this, it's really tempting to blow your cool. But Charlie knows that he's only a move away from good holds and that he's essentially safe even though he's looking at a huge fall. So rather than falling off by climbing down, he takes the winning option and goes for the move with total conviction. It was a spectacular near miss, but he lowers down and then climbs up to finish the route, this time without incident. 